welcome to a brand new vlog as always i won't let you down i have just come back from a really amazing weekend with friends all of my best friends all from uni and we've had the funniest few days together i haven't laughed so much in months and months so i'm just so so happy and I'm in a super good mood today. I've got myself back home. I've got myself all dolled up and into my absolute favorite suit, which is part of the theme that I'll be referring to in a minute. I just wanna say, I hope you're all, wherever you are in the globe, I hope you are super safe and you're with your family and friends or you have tucked yourself away somewhere really, really safe and you're looking after yourself. For the next few weeks, I am very much cutting back to the bare necessities in terms of what I need to go out and do, which is most likely very, very minimal. I'm not gonna talk very much about the global pandemic on this channel or any of my channels because in complete honesty, I am struggling at the moment to keep up with everything that's going on. I feel there's a lot of propaganda and there's a lot of other stuff going on and it's becoming a little bit too much for me personally. And I just wanna be able to escape to my Instagram or social media in general on YouTube and just kind of get away from it for a bit and to escape. So that is what this vlog will also be. But because of everything going on, me and Alex are gonna be spending quite a lot of time in the house which suits me fine, seeing as we've spent so much time making this house look so fancy. We've still got lots of work to do as well, and this in this vlog, I wanna show you a lot more of the updates and things that happened this week, because we have so many parcels and things coming along, so I'm gonna be able to show you a lot more kind of house things that we're doing, because we're gonna be in a lot, and I'll be showing you kind of my routines through the day and, and everything else, so I'm quite looking forward actually to spend some time just with Alex in the house. You know, got to find that silver lining. But I am very, very proud to say that actually this vlog is a paid for integrated advertorial with Facebook. And it's because they approached me regarding their She Means Business website, kind of part of the Facebook site called She Means Business. And it is a website for female entrepreneurs whether you want to be a CEO of a huge marketing firm in the future or whether you are a person looking to set up your own business and you're looking for tips and for advice and to find a community or if maybe you just need a push in the right direction they have created this site so it's like a little hub on the Facebook site I'll leave links down below to where you can find that but it's a really inspiring area for you to go along to if you just want some advice some inspiration just some thoughts some information I was more than excited to talk all about this with you guys because the amount of times that I meet you all in the streets or out and about somewhere and you tell me what you do for a living and it's quite often something either in education or you're working towards a career that you've always dreamed of or you are in your dream career and you're always so inspiring to me so I felt like so many of you would actually love to hear all about this but alongside that they've launched a book it's called make it work lessons from life in business hashtag she means business so Facebook sent this along to me so I could see an actual physical copy um, and inside here you've got 14 different stories of different ladies who have paved out their own career paths. They've become their own entrepreneurs in different areas. Um, and it just goes into an insight onto each one. Right at the beginning, which is so wonderful to see, is Grace, otherwise known as Grace Fit, or at least she was once Grace Fit, Grace Beverly. You may know Grace pretty well, actually. She is a YouTuber, an entrepreneur times one million. She is unbelievably inspiring to me. She started Band Store, who do, um, well, first of all, they do my peach iced tea for a start, which is delicious. They started by creating workout bands, vegan workout bands that you can use in your gym, and they are some of the absolute best. Then she founded Tala, which is sustainable workout gear, and she now also has Shreddy, which is an app, and I'm pretty sure it's also an online site where you can get loads of workout plans and tips and ideas for workouts. So to see her as the first story within this book, was really, really wonderful to see actually, because 
she is a lady who is just so lovely like the number of times that i've met her she is just a fabulous girl also some wonderful quotes in here one of my favorites actually is literally this one here from grace and it says i think let them have their preconceptions about me i'm just going to get on with my job the success of the business speaks for itself she really deserves all the success that she's got because she's really worked so so hard for it and it's truly inspired me for my future and um, things that I want to do. I mean, so many of you constantly message me and you're like, when are you going to do this or when are you going to do that? And honestly, I have so many dreams for this year and the next that I really want to put into action now. I've been blogging since 2012. So in October this year it'll be eight years and it's just absolutely flown by and it's been a really wonderful journey. For, like, for any of you guys who haven't followed me very long or you've just found me for any reason, then um, just a really quick spin of my career path was that I went to university, I did um, a, a fashion retailing degree at the University of Manchester. I then went on to do a PhD in mobile consumer behaviour and retailing. Did my PhD, then went on to be a lecturer of fashion retailing at the University of Manchester, all at the same time as I started my fashion beauty lifestyle blog. And it just got to a point in like 2015, I think, when it just got too much and I had this one full-time job as a lecturer and another full-time job as a blogger and I had to give one up. I decided to take a risk and go down the blogging route. I moved to London from Manchester and it's just been an absolute crazy, wonderful whirlwind since then. It's been unreal. I feel so lucky to be where I am but at the same time I have really really worked so hard to kind of build my blog to where it is and my YouTube channel and to really strive to create beautiful content and more inspiring content. I mean, I love a selfie as much as anyone and I love taking a picture of me with a coffee in a cafe. Love it. Lovely, easy peasy content, but I really, really, truly enjoy when I can have a brief and get to it with some real imagination and excitement and put something new into it and create something more editorial or advertorial and I suppose more inspiring for me to work on. So I feel very, very happy with where, where I'm at and I love my career, but there are things that I really do want to do in the future. Like I sort of said before, like my dream would be to have made my own fashion line. I would also love my own beauty line. I'd love to invest in more companies in the future. I would love to buy another house maybe in the future. Yeah, that's definitely one thing. Definitely one thing that I have been thinking about, the fact that I'd love to buy a second home. We're almost gonna finish with this house and for the future, I just think it would make good kind of business sense to maybe buy another house, do that up, maybe buy to let, or maybe we could have it as a holiday home something like that just as like a nest egg for the future that is kind of what's on my mind right now what we kind of do next because doing up this house has been a dream and it's been wonderful to kind of document that with you guys and now i'm kind of looking now for my next challenge like what do i do next um you know i'm always just striving to do more and more i, I never like to be complacent i always like to have a new exciting thing on the agenda and something that i'm looking forward to so whilst i'm kind of thinking about how can I start up my own businesses the same way that Grace has. Yeah, the, the idea of me buying a second house could be on the cards. I have been having a little look around, definitely thinking about it. If any of you guys do work in the housing market or you own a couple of properties, like I'd love any advice you've got. Like if you can leave some advice down below of what you think is maybe a good area to invest in or whether you think I should maybe do a buy to let property or maybe buy a few or maybe buy another house just to, I don't know, just to do up wonderfully and to sell on. I'd love to be able to flip a full house from something that's kind of broken and has a lot of potential to something really beautiful. Like that would be such a challenge. Like I know I've loved doing up this house, but it was livable before. I'd almost like to take something that's unlivable and make it unbelievable. But yeah, that's just one potential thing that I'm thinking about. But yeah, sorry, going back to the ebook, going back to the ebook. Um, yeah, so you can find this on the She Means Business site. So the book has been launched by Nicola Mendelssohn, who is the Facebook, here she is. She is the Vice President of Facebook for Europe the Middle East and Africa. Let me make sure I get that right. She is a female entrepreneur, girl boss in herself, and she has now pulled together these 14 stories from some really, really inspiring women. So we've got a few ladies here. Karen Blackett 
OBE, who is the CEO of Mediacom. You've got um, Mel Bound, who is the founder of This Mum Runs. Julie Brown, Chief Operating and Financial Officer of For Burberry. And in each one as well, they do like a little Q&A with some really nice questions on things like how would you describe yourself, what time of day do you get up, what do you, what are your pet peeves, things like that. And it's just quite interesting seeing any themes between some of the women. Honestly, it's really, really wonderful to also see a book that is just women supporting other women and their successes. Like, it's really, really quite refreshing. It's wonderful. And it's gorgeous. It's, and like I said, it's fully available online. I'll leave a link down below, like I said, to the ebook if you just fancy a read, just being a bit more inspired. If you do have a dream and an idea and maybe just want to get a little bit of an inspirational kick, then I'll leave the link down below. Do go along to the She Means Business website. It was set up in 2016 by Facebook as an initiative to really help inspire and drive women and just give them a platform to find more advice and information and maybe some more valuable connections that they could use for their future and for growing their businesses. To see such a huge company as Facebook support women in such a way and to really curate this platform of excellent career tips and information it's just really really wonderful to see so i've been so excited to work on this project i'll leave it linked down below for you um, and there will also be a link to the ebook if you do want to have a little read of that right i now just need to take some pictures and some stories for the night and then hopefully alex is going to make some dinner and i also need to unpack for my little trip away and get everything together also new picture on the wall i'm just kind of adding little bits to this closet bit by bit. My furniture for this room arrives on Tuesday, hopefully, if the delivery services are still running as planned. If they are, then it'll be here on Tuesday, my new storage box and my chair for here. I think it'll just completely change the colours in the room and the whole feel of the room, just adding that bit more fabric in here. And hopefully it'll also take a little bit of that echo out by adding some more fabrics in. But I am just so thrilled with this space. I just I couldn't love it more. Like I said, I'm gonna add a ceiling rose up here. I'm gonna add some more cornice around and just add a touch more personality, I suppose. Otherwise, I could not be happier, guys, with this space. I love this picture though. It's a picture from Vogue. I think it's like a 1981, or maybe 1985 article in a Vogue. And I saw it and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So I picked up this print. Otherwise, I think you've seen everything else. I also just did in case you're wondering, I just finished off my hair, making it all curly whirly with the new Dyson Corral, just in case. If, if any of you wanted to see a bit of a bigger, bouncier, curly hair look and how you can get it, I did this with the, with the Corral. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go see Alex, see what he's up to, I just need to take some pictures. But I will be back shortly. Okay, photo shoot. Photo shoot. Photoshoot, photo mate. Photoshoot is done, and Alex is now going to make a Maldivian fish curry, well, aren't you? Well, I am if you've bought all the ingredients, because we seem to be missing a very vital one, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. What is it? Curry powder. Curry powder. Is that curry leaves there? Yeah, I've got a feeling that I asked for curry powder, and they sent curry leaves. You need curry leaves and curry powder. Do you really? For this one, I'm doing anyway. Okay, we will rectify this in a second. Yeah, photo shoot went well. You've most likely seen it already on my Instagram. Tonight, me and Alex are probably just gonna maybe watch a film together. Yeah? Can do. And eat yeah. our fish curry together, which would be nice. It's a really chilled evening before tomorrow. Something tomorrow? Not very much. Alex has had his driving lessons cancelled, unfortunately, obviously due to not being able to go out. Another trip cancelled. We've had another trip cancelled. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're here for the foreseeable future. <laughs> so there's lots we need to do around the house, which is good. So maybe Alex can get back to painting the doors again and I can I can get to doing a few little house things. Like I need to order the mirrors for the gym and things like that. Hopefully our treadmill will arrive on Tuesday, like I said, and I can get working out again. So we just need to get really fit these next few weeks, babe. Sounds like a plan. Eat healthy, work out. Morning, guys. I am in another fantastic mood today. I am freshly tanned, Vita Liberata tanned, and I have, well, I've got my fresh eyelashes. Mm. Debbie came over yesterday to the house to do my eyelashes, so I'm feeling fabulous now, and it's so nice to see Deb. However, today is homeware day. 
and not only do I need to clean lots, oh I'm also TikToking lots, I'm really inspired today to do lots of cool like fashiony content but I'm going to also clean up the house a little bit and we're having an abundance of things to live in it's really exciting I'm just hoping my closet furniture arrives today that's what I'm most excited about but one thing that has arrived is our new mirror this thing weighs an absolute ton I can't even pick it up with two hands I think it's about 25 kilograms it is humongous but like I said it's meant to go just above this section of the fireplace and it's it's almost like antiqued silvery gold style. Here you've got like flex, into like little flex in the mirror, and this bit in the middle is completely clear. So we um the only reason we're not put that up yet is because I just need to see how wide my new cornice is that I'm putting up. And then I'll know how low we can hang that mirror so we can get it off the floor. <sighs> what else? I've just had a lovely, super lovely delivery from the Dyson ladies who have just sent me this beautiful bouquet of roses just to say how excited they are about working with me as an ambassador this year for Dyson. If you didn't see that vlog already about how I am a Dyson ambassador this year then please do watch that and also show you how I get my kind of, my different types of curls that I do. I've been chowing down on these, absolutely unreal. I love these ape snacks. The um, coconut chips are also like my fave, but these are amazing. One of my pieces of artwork has just arrived from Jane Denton. She's a New Zealand artist and she works with threads, wool threads. And she's created this for me in the colors of my lounge. Um, I am waiting for a second one, but Parcel Force for some reason only sent me the customs charge form for this one. And I've now just had to ring Parcel Force and ask where my second one is and paid that. Annoyingly, but I expected this to happen. The customs charge was almost the same price as the actual artwork itself but this happens and if you want to get things from the globe from around the globe that's a bit more unique then you know I'm happy to do it it's it's absolutely beautiful and I could not be I could not be more pleased with it so as soon as the second one gets here we can get them both up on the wall I just love the way that she's she's actually signed it Jane Denton 2020 yes this is one of two and they're gonna look great and I've also treated myself so I'm eating now. I've also treated myself, sorry about the nudity here, but I've also treated myself to this print by Michael Dweck. This is a print I saw years ago, it must be 10, 12 years ago, when maybe, I think I was in uni anyway, and I saw this print in Vogue magazine, I think, it's like an article in there, and I remember I ripped it out, and I'm sure I kind of used it in a sketchbook or something as like inspiration. Anyway, I don't know what it is about this picture, but I absolutely love it. And I remember one in the Vogue magazine, like the girl's boobs, you couldn't see them in Vogue. It was kind of cut down the middle, so you could just kind of see a bum and her hair and the sand and the surfboard. But anyway, I don't know why, but a few weeks ago I was looking for new artwork and I was like, God, I remember that amazing picture of that girl on the beach with the surfboard. I'll have a look for it. And honestly, I must have searched about an hour and I was about to give up and I finally, finally saw it. Because obviously I was looking for like Google stuff like, Girl on beach, surfboard. Girl naked on beach with surfboard. You can imagine what came up. Anyway, literally I was about to give up and finally I saw it and I was like, yes, this is a picture I've been looking for for like 10 years. It's by Michael Dweck and it's from a book he did called The End. The End, Montauk, and it's just loads of pictures that he took of, um, sorry about the boobs, lots of pictures he took of um, women and guys on the beach in Montauk having a fabulous time. So um, I just, I bought this print from his website and it, I mean it's like 150 quid. I've got a frame on the way from Desenio, like a massive frame and I'm going to put it up on the, on the staircase. This is one of my favourite, I like artwork, I like prints and photos and artwork that remind you of something and this kind of reminds me of my uni and uni times and uni work. So I really, really like it. I know a lot of people be like, why have you got a naked woman on your wall? But it's nice to have a story behind your artwork, I think. By the way, a few people have asked me where I got this throw home sign from. I got it for Christmas. It was my secret Santa present from my um, cousin's husband, Pat. And he got me this and I'm pretty sure he got it from Not On The High Street. And it wasn't too expensive, he said, so. So there you go. Now then, I just need to wait now for my uh, closet items to arrive. In the meantime, I'm just going to do a little bit of workies. Um, I'd like to write a blog post because my 1500th blog post is coming up. When you watch, if you watch this on the Thursday, it's coming up tomorrow. On Friday, it'll be my 1500th ever blog post. Looking forward to that. So I want to write something quite heartfelt for it. So I might just buckle down and start writing that, sit on the bed and just get writing. Might be quite nice. Okay, more home things arrived. Not that I need any more candles, but I bought these from Zara Home. 
and they're like a rib defect candle you might not be able to see this but it's like a rib defect and it smells so strong of i think it's frankincense and myrrh i want to say it's really really strong it's all i can smell in the house right now but the reason i got them mainly i mainly just got these because i just really liked these little black plates that they came on no that's really quite sad but i wanted to make sure that any candles i put on my brand new fireplace had a little mat and i wanted black to go with the theme so they were £20 each with the candle and then a the little mat and I've got one on each side and I think that'll look super cute okay so one thing I've been desperate to show you for a few days now is a delivery that I got a load of you may remember actually a few weeks ago when I was kind of clearing out my closet and I was putting all my well I was actually putting things into my closet and I was doing all my I was showing you all of my shoes I mentioned loads of times that I needed a recommendation for somewhere that repairs and restores shoes to their like back to as new as possible anyway so many of you hundreds and hundreds of you messaged me and said you need to check out the restory so the restory is a service they've got a shop in selfridges and they've also got their online store but the whole premise of the restory is that they will restore anything of yours whether that is a bag or your shoes that you just want to kind of bring back to life and they will try their best to do so obviously there may be some cases where something is just too beyond repair but the majority of things they will definitely have a go at and i could not be more amazed by the service and the condition of my shoes now i sent off i think eight pairs of my shoes like my most favorite shoes ever i've just had them back like they just arrived back with dhl all nicely neatly boxed um, i'm just going to quickly show you them all because i'm just absolutely amazed um the first pair being my chanel mules which i bought again so i have two pairs of these chanel mules is it me or do these look apart from us a little bit of creasing as good as new i was going to sell these i am absolutely amazed like they've redone the toe for me they have added new little toe caps here they've completely restored all up the back of the heels they've put new heel caps on i'm pretty sure they completely repainted the nude paint as well because i mean they literally look good as new i'm amazed so i got those back but because they literally are my favorite shoes and i had already re-bought them these ones had also got battered because i've been wearing these ones so <laughs> these two have been completely redone for me they have completely redone the bottoms again they've put new heel caps on um, they've repaired some of the fabric they've repaired some of the toes um, they have also repaired the colouring. These were all completely discoloured, as if they almost looked like they had blue paint splashed up the sides. And they are as good as new. I'm obsessed. So now I literally have two perfect pairs. Like you'd never know that one was bought about two. Well, apart from a bit of creasing, but you, you know what I mean. I'm absolutely over the moon. So there's those. Again, I sent off two pairs of the Dior flats. Again, they're my absolute favourite, and I wanted to see what they would be able to do with them and again they've just kind of cleared up as best as possible can they've re-healed them for me and they've re they've re-healed and they've resold them for me um, and they've just cleaned up a lot of the other little bits of the straps and the fabric and that goes for both pairs again re-healed re-sold and just cleaned up and tidied up a little bit so they're much much nicer to wear now oh these are unbelievable i've probably had these four and a bit years a lot of you guys if you follow me for a while you'll know these shoes look at these now they've been completely repainted white paint i'm pretty sure they've completely painted these nude they look entirely like brand new again and i was going to rebuy these and i remember someone even messaged me and said i found these shoes again for you i know you wanted to rebuy them and now i have absolutely no need to because i've completely restored them i mean these shoes go for about 500 pounds and the restoration of a pair of shoes like this to this kind of standard is far 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 less than rebuying them so it's i'm just absolutely over the moon oh they've also been resold and new heel caps Honestly, I hope you found this as satisfying as I do because I'm absolutely amazed. Now, these, you guys told me I should get these re-dyed. So I did. My Jean Vito Rossi's 
Plexi, again, like the last ones, but these ones are in a velvet, and they were this colour, this yellow colour all over, and they got completely discoloured, I don't know what I'd done to them. And loads of you were like, oh, you should get them recoloured, and I think these were the ones that sparked you guys telling me about the restory, because I'm sure my friend Amelia had just had hers re-dyed. So I've had them re-dyed in the most beautiful, deep, royal blue navy all over and then when I wear them you'll just see a little poking, a little peak of the yellow in there. They are amazing and they've also put new little toe caps on here as well for me. Honestly, how fantastic are they? Just a couple more. They have entirely brought my Valentinos back to life. Another pair that were just battered and bruised and they have completely brought these back to life. I'm pretty sure they may have painted these, they've resold them. Um, they've completely tidied them up and cleaned up like they look like that now it like, looks as good as new like Was it? Looks completely brand new as if like they've just been picked up off the shelf But the very last ones I want to show you are a pair that I was genuinely absolutely gutted because I could not buy them again And they're my one of my absolute favorite pairs of boots I've ever bought and I am beside myself thankful for these boots and the restoration on them my Dior black boot. These were so battered. They had bits of the perforated leather falling off. This was completely all over the place. Heel cap was gone. The sole was battered and bruised. The toes were ripping forward. They looked an absolute mess, complete and utter mess. And now they look like I have just bought them and maybe worn them a couple of times to get this creasing. Genuinely, I got them at the box, I was like, have they put new leather on this? Because I'm just, I, I don't understand. It's like magic. I don't understand how, because they literally had bits of fabric coming off them. I don't understand how it's been, how they've repaired them to this. Honestly, I'm just, I'm absolutely over the moon. I can't believe it. I just genuinely can't believe it. So the biggest thank you to the restory um, for allowing me to use their services and for helping me with my shoes. I couldn't be more thankful. I'll leave links down below by the way to the restory if you do want to kind of get some of your bag shoes restored because I can't recommend them more. I am blown away. Oh my gosh guys, it's here, it's here. My order has arrived. My chair and my footstool are finally here. I've waited so many weeks for this to happen. I'm just so excited. Currently waiting for the husband to get off of the Xbox so we can carry these upstairs for me. Married life, please come off the Xbox and carry my things. Thank you. Found Alex. He's come to help me put my my things together. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh look at this. They are just perfect oh sorry about this banding going on guys yeah these are just absolutely perfect i could not be happier look at this fabric it's um it's called the dandelion boucle fabric um and i got them both from arlo and jacob so this one's like a storage box and then i've also got the matching chair to go with it again in the same fabric and then of course with my little cushion this one opens somewhere <laughs> oh this way wow so i'm gonna fill this i think with hats and scarves and gloves morning guys it is now wednesday and um we had a delivery this morning right here don't mind alex's mass of clothes everywhere <laughs> what else is new um we have a brand new mirror I love it so much I had um the mirror that was here that was like a white frame it's also very similar size but it's a white frame and I've had it for about um oh gosh I've actually had it since I was in like Manchester and working at the uni probably 10 odd years now and um it's still a great mirror we're going to make use of it somewhere else in the house but i thought for this wall i wanted something a little bit more ornate and more of like a focal piece so i found this one i'll leave a link down below for you so you can go and find the absolute same one they also do it in like a half size which is perfect for like an over fireplace like a mantle place mantle mantle piece mantle piece 
mirror. But this is a full size. It is a fantastic size as well and it's leaned back against the wall. Um, so it's great. I'm going to be taking loads of selfies. In fact, I just took a little mirror pic actually in this um, with my no bra. Hello, no bra. This is, seems very strange to get a bra, but I just want to show you. It's super nice. It's really like, um, it's just like a soft bra from Le Girl the Boys. So I am loving this nice and cosy little outfit for the day. I was just walking around the, in the bra for an hour or so, <laughs> just getting little bits of jobs done. And then the uh, DHL guy came, so I thought I'd better put on a top. Just milling around the house today doing little bits and bobs um, and we've got loads that have been being delivered again so we've got the mirror this morning at like 8am um, we've got another picture arrived today for the living room um, and we have had another ow someone just stuck in my foot and we have had a new delivery I'm so so thankful for this from past it evangelist if you miss this actually i think i might put it on my stories past evangelists they have like a menu every week of amazing pastas all like homemade italian vibe pastas and you can choose what you want to buy like and then they come to your door in a cold box storage box and um they're just like this and then you can kind of show you one hopefully i can kind of show you one all you then have to do is kind of prepare it put it together to prepare it all and it's all super easy see if I can get it in without don't really want to ruin the box here we go um, oh my gosh look at that so we've got like a ravioli I think this is a prawn and crab ravioli with garlic butter and samphire I mean look at that and it all comes with instructions of how you make it but it's all super like unbelievably delicious fully like homemade proper italian like proper italian deliciousness i'm pretty sure as well that these may be gluten free oh yes yeah, so we've got one of these each that's exciting we've got one of them each and then we've got this one oh my wow have you seen this oh he's gone he's gone he's gone um pumpkin lasagna completely ready i almost wonder if i can put that into the oven and cook it in that maybe if not it'll just have to decant it out but it tells you all about what to do here in the book oh yeah there's another one there see yeah and then here we are then in the back of here we've got a double portion wow these are gonna be huge double portions of the one of them is a tagliatelle with pesto i think and i'm pretty sure it's again gluten free so we've got a couple of them and it comes with all the pesto and everything oh yeah and then it also comes with little pine nuts, little parmesans, and they also do uh, vegetarian parmesan too. So, I mean, honestly, I bloody love this service. I think it's amazing. And I put, it, I remember put it on my stories, and so many people messaged and said, "I also buy pasta evangelist, and I don't want to go back to normal pasta ever again." So true. Like I've dreamt about getting another order through for ages. So, um, thank you so much to. Pastor Evangelist for sending us this and also in fact they mentioned we've got an initiative on at the moment to help just to kind of help elderly people in the community if you want to do like an order and send it to someone you know if it's a relative or an elderly person or a close neighbour um, I think they're doing they are donating five pound of every order to Age UK um, which is really lovely I, I donate a lot myself to Age UK so it's um, it's a charity that I really really support I think it's really lovely they're doing that in fact there's loads of companies at the moment doing these little initiatives with what's happening in the, in the world just to ensure that elderly people are still being catered for and have enough you know, food and something delicious to look forward to that kind of thing so I think it's a really lovely initiative they're doing that I'm just going to continue with everything that I have been doing. I think, in fact, me and Alex need to do a photo shoot. That's what I need to do next. We need to do a photo shoot for, um, through a magazine article coming out soon. So I need to, need to do that now. <sighs> right. How nice just to be sat in my closet. I've just finished off my photo shoot. We just did it in here. It's so nice having somewhere that I can kind of shoot in whenever I need to. It's really, really, really useful for someone like me who needs to take pictures on a daily basis. Um, so we've just been taking the pictures and I've just put everything away again. <laughs> Alex made the most delicious egg sandwiches. We've had egg sandwiches every lunchtime this week. Literally just gluten-free toast with two fried eggs on them, like runny, with dairy-free vi life cheese. Sprinkle over the top, sandwich it in with a nice piece of margarini bread. 
<laughs> margarini, mm, if you know what I mean, spready bread. And then, um, oh, it's just delicious. It is absolutely divine. So we've been having that every day and then having like a dinner. So it's, it's suiting us fine, to be fair. To be honest, for us tonight, I need to just clean up because we've been having so many deliveries that there is cardboard and polystyrene bubbles and things everywhere all over the house and whilst last night I cleaned everything up and it looked fantastic, today it now looks an absolute shambles again so I need to sort that out so I'm just going to head off and get that done really so I'm going to leave this vlog here before tomorrow or else I'm not going to have anything to put into Sunday's vlog. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Again, I will leave information about the the really inspiring Facebook ebook down below if you would like to go and have a little read of that online and also have a look at the She Means Business website. But of course, by no means, guys, if if for any reason you are struggling this week or last few weeks with everything going on, absolutely no pressure to get up and do loads of things and be productive and be motivated. You don't have to be whatsoever. This is just for those who kind of feel like they want to do a lot. Don't feel guilty if you just fancy taking these next few weeks to think, to think things through um, and take it a bit easier. So there's absolutely no pressure or stress for this. I'm not telling you to be a motivated, determined, motivated person these next few weeks if you're not in the mind frame of it. I completely understand that feeling, so don't worry at all. But yeah, hopefully it's helpful for anyone that is feeling in that kind of mind frame right now. Anyway, I will love you and leave you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending so much love to you and all your families and I'll see you soon.